You want to know what all this is? Well, I'll give you a hint. People ride in these every day. I'm Joel Green, and welcome to Curiosity Quest Goes Green, the show that explores your curiosities. Well, today we got a quest letter from Cheyenne in San Jose, and she wrote, Dear Joel, I have always wondered what happens to cars when they don't work anymore and you can't fix them. Well, Cheyenne, because of you, we are going to find out how cars are recycled on today's Curiosity Quest Goes Green. What happens to a car when you are done with it? Um, well, I, you know, if it doesn't work, you send it to the junk and I guess they recycle and make new cars out of it. Okay, I don't know anything. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> um, it should go to a, junk, a, a junkyard so it can be um, safe for other people to use, like maybe in a used car. <laughs> um, it gets recycled, and and once it's recycled, it, it comes, it becomes a new car. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're out here at Pacific Coast Recycling with Brian. Now, Brian. You're gonna teach us how to recycle a car, right? Absolutely. How does it all start? Well, it all starts when somebody's tired of their car. They trade it in, it's no longer something that they wanna drive around, it goes to an auction process, and eventually it winds up at an auto recycler. They'll take the car in, drain all the fluids out of the car, take any hazardous material out of the car, then they'll use it for parts. So they'll take what usable parts are off of it, refurbish those, sell those back to the public as a cheaper alternative to somebody going out and buying something new. When all the parts have been picked off the car and it's no longer usable, they'll flatten the car and they'll bring it over to us. And then that's when we take care of the shredding process. So the first part of recycling a car is actually reusing sure. everything that can be reused on the car. Absolutely, there's a lot of good components on a car that can still be used even after it's end of its useful life as a complete car. There's a lot of parts that can pull off and re recycle and salvage. Okay, all right, and so after the car is flattened, <laughs> Then it comes to you, huh? Then it, then it comes to us. They're flattened, they come in on the truck, we unload them, and then they go into our shredding machine. And we use a mix of flattened car bodies, appliances, and sheet metal. They go into a machine that basically grinds it all up and then separates out the metal from the non-metal. So wait a minute. You're gonna take these cars and you're gonna shred them, like stick them in a blender. Exactly, they're gonna come out about the size of your hand. Fun fact, fun fact, fun fact. Here's your fun fact. Auto recycling reduces air pollution by 86%. This yellow uh, or this orange cover, mesh, what is that for? Right, that's actually just to protect the other people on the highway. These cars are smashed, so a lot of things get cracked and broken during the process of flattening them. So they wrap this material around there just so that parts don't fall off while they're taking it down the road. All right, and you don't need to take that off before you remove them. Right? No, that'll get ground up in our process and uh, you won't ever see it again. I won't ever see it again. All right. Now he basically is taking these cars right to the front of the uh, line. Sure, we'll be putting those in the shredder here in just a few minutes. Really? So we're gonna. We're gonna this is the last time we're gonna see it in this form, huh? Shortly, it will no longer be a car. My goodness, I can't wait to see it. 